so there's this new option new alternative to twitter that popped up literally overnight like i heard nothing about it and then it came oh the game is still not being captured hold on a second i heard nothing about it and then and then suddenly everyone was talking about it called the hive and i i can't tell you how much i don't trust that um just like suddenly this new and shiny alternative pops up and everyone's using it and it's a it's a new company and they have some they have very good policies i will admit they have good policies they've got a clean setup and it looks nice and all but uh i just don't trust like that you know like we just did this we just did twitter and uh it only takes someone with a lot of money to ruin something good so what what is stopping that from happening to the hive exactly after skype discord i'm feeling cynical um yeah i can understand that i mean like skype was bought by microsoft right discord was almost bought by microsoft i'm pretty sure this microsoft made them a ridiculously good offer but um they didn't take it so that was the one the other you know that like a faith in humanity slightly restored when that happened to be honest because damn like it just seems like it it only takes one one offer to ruin something your game capture broke free it did wait oh what the heck what, what is going on there hold on a second weird anyway that's really it um you know twitter I, i've never been a huge fan of twitter if i'm being honest but it's a necessary it's, it's a necessary evil um i'm a tan if you are watching um which of these would you like me to do maybe you'd like me to do one that you would be okay missing because you're not in the best position to watch today but freddie mercury god knows <laughs> <laughs> I want to break free. Hey, the music stopped. That was actually kind of flawless timing because I was pretty much ready to start the game. So, ch hey, check this out. Check this out. Hold on. Okay, hold on. It's really quiet right now, but give it a second. Oh, it's going to be quiet for a while, isn't it? Okay, so here's a, f a couple of fun things I, I want. I, it took me a little bit to set this up, but honestly, not that much time because this uh, device it was expensive for a reason and it's got some really nice features. But um, I actually have 10 different tracks, very similar to, um, you know, the one you've the, the ones you've heard, the lo fi tracks. They're all on one button. And when I press when I when I hit it, it, it will play a random track which is kind of cool. And then if I hit the button again, it, it gives us a nice little pleasant fade out. So we can, you know, we're, we're, we're ready to move on from the music. I, I, I don't know. I Sometimes, to, to a lot of the times, technology causes me grief and stress and anxiety and all kinds of bad feelings. But occasionally, I, 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 I have to appreciate when a piece of hardware um, actually does what it's supposed to do and it does it in an elegant way and I really appreciate that so this thing has been kind of uh, very much worth its weight uh, I somehow missed the toxicity of Twitter it's also super important for community building and awareness so it does fill an important role yeah I mean like you know there's a lot of people saying oh Twitter's going down good I mean you know, a lot of people are losing their livelihood you know, like a lot of artists that I follow make them a, a lot of their income and, and, you know, their revenue from Twitter. Never mind all of the people who've been like sharing uh, GoFundMe campaigns because, you know, uh, healthcare, I'll leave it at that, um, are, are now going to have to find a new way of kind of, you know, shouting from the mountaintops. Um, 
it's it's kind of a mess i mean twitter is 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 toxic it is as it is it's still kind of a necessary beast and um starting from scratch again and especially when we none of no one really wants to pick a standard like i've heard people talk about co-hosts i've seen people talk about instagram tumblr where tumblr really tumblr okay tumblr all right no one's mentioned facebook which is the only thing that brings me any joy from any of this um co-host instagram mastodon now the hive um so like people are are very much dispersing to various different alternatives and that kind of means that there's no not going to be a standard I, I, I unless like one just kind of naturally rises to the top i mean twitter wasn't very popular right away uh it took a long time for them to build their empire uh played enough dota 2 so i'll pass i have also played my my fair share of dota 2 back in the day my uh, my toxic game of choice these days is magic the gathering and it truly is toxic magic the gathering <laughs> i don't know it's it's a it's a not good game that i enjoy a lot i guess not only power outage but also cell connection uh connection cuts Oh, you're right about that, VidCactus. I guess Facebook does own Instagram, so uh, Zuckerberg still gets still gets the a win. Okay, well, I, no one no one's mentioned the metaverse. How about that? It was good knowing you. Goodbye, I'm a tan. I'm gonna pick one of these randomly. Maybe we wanna uh, not do Library of Ruin at this week because um, I'm a tan is uh, is is the fan. <laughs> my my cell connection be like hold on e facebook games and nostalgia hey Mimis, did anyone ever play jetman the chat has less delay or is it just impression i don't know maybe D did anyone play do library okay Yeah, did anyone ever play Jetman? Jetman! Why, hello there, passengers in first class seats. It takes twice the monthly wage of an average person in the nest to afford a seat in this carriage, I hear. That means someone in the back streets would have, would have to work hard for at least a year for it. I've always had some pressing questions about warp trains. For example, what is the point of first class seats when the trip supposedly only lasts 10 seconds? Even if I'm dead, do it. Okay. No, I haven't. Sorry. I guess it's worth the expense after all. You can sleep without a care in the world. All the while, the passengers in the carriages behind us are defenseless against the maddening time, tide of time, trying to overcome it through the pain of tearing their own flesh or the comfort or of jo conjoining with the other one, the, with the, with one another. I'm sorry. I've always uh, wondered what kind of outstanding technology singularities could be to transport people to any platform in only 10 seconds, no matter how far it is. Is it just me or is this, is it very quiet? Also, how's my sound today? How are things set, uh, sounding? I played Pepsi Man once. Does that count? Uh, the PS1 game? This new generation has no dedication whatsoever. Back in my day, we just crossed the whole country. To go, what the? What are you talking about? And now I get the gist of it. After seeing how this train's been going for about 2,000 years. Me? How am I staying sane, you, you ask? Well, it's all thanks to my fellow members of the ensemble. That hothead Elena. El Elena? And I've actually been here for only a week or so. Pluto says our consciousness can be preserved in stasis and unfrozen only when needed or whatever. He says it's magic and all, and well, I've got no cho choice but to trust him. He's my co-worker now, all things considered. Sounds good? Awesome. Uh, I did a little bit of tinkering over the weekend. Um, I tried to up the, the, the game audio a little bit, so for your end only, because... Uh, sorry to interrupt the story right now, but uh, I wanted to talk about this. Uh, a problem I had previously was that I couldn't, I couldn't turn up the game without turning it up for me, 
And in order to make it loud enough for you, I had to make it too loud for me. And if I turned it down for me, but up for you, then it would also turn down my mic for me, which means I can't hear myself. And I, I know, uh, you, drop your joke in here now about how Bimple loves to hear the sound of his own voice, but not hearing yourself when you're wearing headphones is really, uh, suck. It's bad. And, and, uh, it definitely makes things harder for myself. So I, via o o OBS turned up the game for you, not for me so that it's just louder and that way uh, I can turn it down a little bit and it's, it, everything's kind of a bit more comfortable. Explanation go burr, burr. Yeah, I'm gonna, that's the last time. I, I gotta stop pressing this button. It's a good button to press, but uh, you know. In any case, I pity the fools. Excuse me, what? What do you mean A-team? What do you mean A-team? No one, no one knows what A-team is anymore. Why did you drop that line? That's such a weird out of place line. Listen, I, I don't believe anyone knows that you can say, sorry. I don't think anyone doesn't know that arranging these words in exactly this way is going to be an A-team reference. I, I think even in Korea, they know this. Pimple press button, Bu button. Thank you, Bimple. No worries. Looking out for Chatter's ears. Well, I, I, sound is like, very important, you know. It's it's the worst problem to have to fix, but it's also, uh, once you get things right, then it's very good, you know. Any, in any case, anyway, A-Train. A-Team. I've been watching The Boys lately. I don't, uh, opinions in chat on The Boys. Um, thousands of years of pain and suffering, and it's all long gone from their memories when they arrive. They return to their ordinary lives like nothing ever happened after a status restoration procedure, isn't that right? Yeah. Wow, warp trains are awesome. It's kind of expensive, but I can get anywhere in such a short time. It's a wonderful world, where you can go any everywhere in the blink of an eye. Uttering such remarks, they'll blend back into the city life, completely forgetting about the hellscape that took place on this train. The memories of trying to slaughter their own friends and families as all bonds were blurred over time, having lost themselves long ago. And all of that is conveniently erased from their heads. It's astonishing how singularities are so uniformly appalling. <laughs> and yet you rich folks are scared of even that. So you doze off in your safe space for those thousands of years. You must have heard a word of advice from some acquaintance of yours, hmm? that you'd be much better off taking first-class seats, or some of you are already aware of the truth behind warp trains, perhaps? That'd be ironic in its own right. You decided to take this train knowing what would happen. Ah, uh, in case a certain foolhardy individual or two are still believing that this train is broken or malfunctional. It's not defective. This train is operating as intended. You get the hint by now, don't you? Strolling around in a completely different timescape axis for some thousands of years, and when it comes back to reality, ta-da, it's 10 seconds later. Taking long roundabouts through time, reduced to 10 seconds in real life. Sounds like a perfect ride for people who are in a hurry, doesn't it? What is your real life, though? The one you were living for some few decades, or the one you've been trapped in for thousands of years? If you lost your memories and returned to your ordinary life, would it be a blessing or a curse? Who cares, really? Moving on, my biggest question was this. This box with T Corp's logo on it, so shamelessly and ridiculously and nonchalantly on board. I was wondering what this thing was doing plugged into the train, but I could roughly guess why after a bit of thinking. The hell are you doing, quietly muttering lectures to yourself? Are you sure you've uh, kept all your faculties, my dude? Your course with words as usual. I'm speaking to the couple of voyeurs who are probably watching us as we speak, of course. All right, that was the plan. Being stuck in this train for a week really did take a toll on my focus. Your acting was excellent. Were you an aspiring actress in the past? Maybe. Anyway, just carry on with what you're doing. How cold. And it seems this disguise Pluto gave me has almost expired now. Shall we get started, wealthy fellows? I have no hard feelings for the somewhat average commoners back there, but you lot make me upset, if I'm being honest. 
The way you try to squirm your way into comfort with money like the maggots you are agit maggots you are agitates me beyond reason. Life sure is bizarre, isn't it? You spend your hard-earned cash for a first-class ticket to keep yourself safe and sound from the torture of time, but now you're about to suffer something entirely else. You unfortunately run into the likes of us and meet a terrible fate, just because you've taken first-class seats. Yeah, right. Who knows, one of you might have been a piss-poor sod who just so happens to win a ticket. Sorry, uh, is the guy who is talking to us, is this his actual form? Is that what's happening? That's what makes choices so mysterious and profound. I personally think there's no such thing as choice in our lives. Someone is playing tricks on all of us, mischievously and sneakily, staging an endless puppet show, attaching invisible strings to us. Now shall we get started? It's time for a little puppetry. So that's the puppeteer, huh? It's as if we are, he were speaking directly to us. He's part of the Blue Reverbs gang. Maybe he knows something about us. Could the blue reverberation be re focusing on the library then? Possibly. I don't know what he's looking for, but it certainly ain't going to be normal. What else could be he? A what? A what else could he be after other than the books we have? The question would be what kind of books they really want. Anyway, Warp Corp is going to be in big trouble if we if the disappearance of every passenger in the first class carriage gets known by others. Aliens, damn, damn aliens! Is it, whoa, he he was an alien? Is that the implication? I thought he was just another human in a robot body. For sure, W Corp might get involved with us at this rate. Was this part of the Re Blue Reverb's plan? It would be intriguing if that were the case. What did I miss? You missed. Um, so apparently, warp trains always take thousands of years, and then they just make people forget. Uh, that they were milling about for thousands of years and then they were, like, transported back into, like, normality. Which is, uh, is not, uh, that's not the first time I've seen that, um, story told. There's a really good little animation, I might post it after the stream is done, uh, about a guy, um, who's, uh, who's made an offer. If you push this button, you will live for, like, what, what is it, like, it, a million years on a desolate planet you can't sleep you can't you you have nothing to do and you can't die for a million years but if you if you survive that if you once you get back you'll forget it ever happened and you'll be given a thousand dollars something like that right and then uh, it's just a little 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 kind of scary story and uh there's a there's a few of these these like friends and one of them's like I'm gonna push the button and he pushes the button and a thousand dollars appears. He's like, oh cool, that's great, a thousand dollars, and he just like walks off happily. And then another friend goes up and pushes the button, thousand bucks, nice. I'm gonna go buy a new bike. And then the third guy pushes the button and then we see him from his the perspective of having to live a million years. Uh, can't sleep, can't nothing to do completely devoid of anything there's not even like light it's just cold and empty and nothing and you can't die and you can't can't nothing it's just nothing and then like it goes like you know hour by hour and then like year by year and then like year 10,205 and he's still like well you know what anyway it's a good it's a good animation it's a good little cartoon Implication that I'm getting kidnapped by aliens since my power in my cell connection is gone. Reality versus time in another place. Considering sol solitary confinement is literal torture, I feel like I wouldn't push that button. Well, the thing is, is they, they can't remember the million years they spent when they come down, right? And uh, I kind of, I don't want to spoil the ending, but when <laughs> when the third guy finally finishes their million trip and they come back and they, they forgot all of it, right? And they get the the thousand dollars. <laughs> there's a there's a funny little uh, ironic ending that is very good, and uh, I I don't know maybe we can watch it. I don't know maybe we, we we could watch it together. It's not too long. I think it's about ten minutes. But anyway, I bet your enthusiasm will turn into disdain real quick when you actually meet that cuckoo. Oh God! What what are we what are we fighting here exactly? 
Gurg gurg. Yo, did they come out the other end of the mountain? They found their hole meant for them. This is my hole, Mr. Krabs. It was made for me. There's the exact same button in this game. Yo, it's like they watched that cartoon. Guests who cannot speak. Still, you've managed to come to the library through the invitation. That means you must have some sort of consciousness, no? <laughs> hey, I, I managed to hit this, the, the cough button before I sneezed. That was good. Durr. <laughs> they are beautiful. Durr, durr, durr. This is my hole. I have no idea what you may be saying. If you want to get to the books as your puppeteer so wishes, you cannot go through the door. Trash. I love eating trash. Yum yum, dude from... <laughs> what is this bit? Is there a trash eating bit in, in Rick and Morty that I'm not aware of? How come Roland's still only a team of three? Let's uh let's roll with Hod's team. Mama mama. Actually, I just realized Roland's team uh doesn't have the cards they're supposed to have because I gave them to Team Tif Tiffany. Tiffereth. So let's roll with Team Hod. Oh, I, lo I love eating. I love eating trash. Okay. Oh no. New new mechanics still. Counter dice are displayed in yellow. These dice will be saved until an enemy attempts a one-sided attack. Um, until an enemy attempts a one-sided attack. If a counter die wins in a clash, it will be recycled if there are dice left on the opponent's combat page. This game does not explain itself well. I'm sorry. I, like, also, I'm not very smart, but maybe it's just, like, does not explain itself well. What is it? What is it trying to tell me? It, the so the dice, like what? What is it? What is the relevant information to me here? Like when are the counter dice relevant? Um. Geez, no one uh, rolled higher than a four, huh? So these guys, do they have counter dice? What is their passive? Puppet ske uh, skeleton blunt dice power plus one. Well, that's kind of nice. I'm pretty sure I do have um, a team that could use some extra blunt dice power. I'm assuming that, it, yeah, those are pages that we can collect. I'm not really seeing any like um, higher strategy here. So I'm going to go ahead and pea brain it if that's cool with y'all. Do, do y'all have your coffee today? What, what what's everyone drinking in chat? Tea check. I like I like the tea check. Okay, let me see what the are they still are they doing counters yet? Nope. 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 Jeez. Basically, if you play this yellow die, stays on hold until another enemy attacks you without a clash. That yellow die hits them instead. If it wins, it can hit again. Can't even make hot drinks right now. Aw. <laughs> hey, Faust. The tears of my enemies as I watch their women cry on lament. What? How? Well, how? What? What compelled you to come and chat and drop that line? That's a line. I think I'm just gonna walk in a room and like drop hard poetry. <clears throat> I think I'm also gonna start wearing lapels. I'm gonna make a lapel bimple. Oh, uh, by the way, um, I don't know if anyone in chat is uh, 
other than Andrino is a uh, coffee supporter. This is not my, this is not me pressuring you to join join one, but I am saying I um, I dropped a couple of posts um, for the coffee supporters. There's going to be a Discord channel, and there's going to be some extra goodies and uh, benefits for being a coffee supporter. But if you are a coffee supporter in chat uh, and you are um, lurking, then please get back to me. Um, I have messaged you on coffee to send me some reference material so that I can draw you as a golden bimple because there is, there's going to be a golden bimple channel on the discord. I know, right? Slash dice key, uh, dice gain one to three power take two to five stagger damage when a slash attack does not connect. Well, that doesn't sound good. Uh, alert enemies prioritize this librarian as a target and deal. Um, none of these are good. I don't really want any of these if I'm being honest. Fine. Wish I could support you, but life is no, no, no. This is uh, not not pressuring. This is not me pressuring anyone to join the coffee. This is me informing the coffee supporters that uh, you you are entitled to some more benefits. And uh, if if money is tight, please do not feel at all obligated. Um, I I know I'm a, basically a B side YouTuber, uh, and you know the the people who are supporting me are are, are great, but. It's, it's really not, it, it shouldn't be on anyone's priority list. Shiny Bimple. Oh, coffee, I was, a oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> should I, should I pronounce it as Ko-Fi? Co kind of like Wi-Fi? Oh, come on. Wow, well, I'm really not doing well right now. Here goes my internet again. Good day. On hit against the staggered enemy, all allies recover. Oh, that could be great. Do we have any staggered enemies right now? Come on, stagger him. No, no. Yo, can you, can we? All right. Well, at least we get a little bit of XP from that. But I am dying. This is like really not going well right now. Can, can we please win? Some dice rolls? No? Oh, okay. All right. All right. Please. Thank you. Yes. I might I might still win this. When using a page, all block dice on that page gain power equal to the number of defensive dice on said page. All characters apply twice as many stacks of bleed. Um I'm pretty sure I'm gonna lose here, but there's a small chance. Please kill. I need you to kill that second one right away. Nope. Okay. Well, that's that's game over for this team anyway. Have a good day, Kevbo. No, nice stream, folks. I'm gonna head out. Take it easy. Okay. So we're gonna. Finish that fight with, uh, I think it's team, who is it? Tif Tifereth, because they've got the, the, the guns. But I, I guess I'll just continue with a different team. We'll, we'll, we'll do Netsack, because I'm not sure if there's not another fight after this. Oh, this is a, this is a, they're using cards that I actually kind of have to, like, play actively. Rip my connection, see y'all later, take it easy. Hey, bot. You could run the CPU fine. What happened? C uh, hold on. I thought you were pulling a reverse spiffing Brit for a sec. I'm actually not sure. 
Uh, my new CPU was delivered yesterday. I made an unboxing and all, but I don't have the internal thermal paste to install it yet. Does it not come with thermal paste? Usually ther uh, CPUs come with thermal paste. Unless uh, maybe it's the cool... Whoop. No. Uh, maybe it's the, coolie, uh, the, the cooling unit that comes with the thermal paste. I don't I don't think you want to I don't think you want to install it without the thermal paste that that seems a little bit high risk Run to Best Buy Yeah, they usually come with a tiny tube of uh, thermal paste. It's not necessarily good thermal paste, but I mean it's better than nothing. I don't think there's really much difference in like premium thermal paste compared to the, the junk they give you. When hit, recover two to four stagger resist if the character isn't staggered. Okay. Sounds good. My apologies for pea braining this, but since I get to have multiple teams and, uh, you know, I don't, I, I guess these guys might be doing counters. I should check to see if they're doing counters. There we go. Not much risk. Worst case, it would just throttle. Can you not damage the CPU if it gets too hot? I, I I'm not asking out of like a. I'm I'm asking genuinely. I don't. I'm not really much of a tech person. So these guys have counters. Gain two haste next scene. Ouch. Kill. Modern CPUs will just turn off if they get too hot. Okay. A successful pierces hack inflict one thrill to the target against targets. Uh, against targets with plus three, uh, three th plus thrill deal two to seven bonus damage and stagger damage. Then remove all strikes. Okay. It's a lot of words to just say that you do, uh, like, more damage every third attack. I feel like doing clashes is generally a, a, a good idea. But I don't know. Is, is there a, some way that this counter works that it's actually bad for me to counter or to, to clash? That was good. Uh, why even take that risk that causes damage? A 40% temp increase instant worth just go into a store real quick. I mean, yeah. Um, I, I would say probably just go to the go to Best Buy. Stop watching the stream right now and go to Best Buy, or whatever uh, Brazilian um, alternative there is. Do I not have any cards? Wow. Ugh. 
These guys roll really high. Nice. Yes. Kill. No. Uh, Brazilian alternative. <laughs> I already bought a thermal paste. It will be delivered in a couple of days. Oh, that sucks. It sucks having like all of the parts you need to like build your PC and, and you just need to wait for like, oh, I got to buy this one more thing or uh, this, you know, it's 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 a bummer, you know, like when you you've got everything you need and it's you still can't build it. I get mad if something takes longer than three days. China is kind of far from Brazil. <laughs> this guy is taking me out to dinner. Ouch. Stop it. Yes. 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 Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? Are you feeling it? I'm feeling it. Get stomped on. Victory. Is there another combat after that? There is. Oh my god. Okay, well, we'll continue with uh, Team Netzek, even though they're they're about to get destroyed. Um, because we may as well. And then we'll go with the Team Hod, because they have the guns. They have the shooty guns. And I'll try not to uh, pea brain this this time. Someone rolled a 5 and a 6 and a 5. Okay, this is good. We'll try and clash with some of these other ones. Oh, this guy's attacking both on the six. So I can't really do anything about that. Actually, let's take this. Shoot, no one rolled any fours, huh? Okay. All right, I probably should have just pea brained it. It's fine. Oh, cheese. Okay, we made a little bit of progress there. I should I should have uh, read their passives. I did not read their passives. Ouch. These guys, um, I mean, they do pretty good stagger damage, but they don't actually do all that much damage. Hey, I'm back using net Zuck, I see. Yes. Well, because I still have uh, Team Hod in reserve. So what I'm going to start, maybe what I'll start doing is I'll, I'll use P, uh, P Brain just to kind of get the ball rolling and then i'll set up some clashes um afterwards is anyone no one's attacking stagger huh let's get you to attack stagger yes things are going pretty well actually SCP Director Simulator. Have you played Lobotomy Corp? I haven't. Um, I kind of, I've been putting off buying it because uh, I knew I wasn't going to play it anytime soon. But I was actually planning on giving it a go after I was finished uh, li Library of Ruina. I assume you know that the the people that made this made Lobotomy Corp. Yo, things went very well in this combat, considering. Everyone was like very heavily damaged. I'm just gonna pea brain it. Heck it. 
here goes my connection again. <laughs> We're getting a play-by-play. -play. Ouch. Ouch. Come on. Yet. Yeah. No. No stagger. Book of Weighty Puppet. We're getting lots of uh, puppet books, which is good. Okay, we can maybe pea brain this. I actually didn't, but this game was giving me heavy vibes of it from the heart style. Yeah, uh, this is kind of a direct follow up. Um, the events of Lobotomy Corp are like directly uh, influence this this game's story. Um, the like one of the main characters that you're helping is I can't oh man I can't believe I can't remember her name right now but um she's she's the assistant from L lobotomy corp just pee braining it was wondering why it seems so familiar yep I do want to play lobotomy corp but I also know that lobotomy corp is very difficult <laughs> So, uh, I'm not exactly excited to try it. Angela, yeah. Sorry, I, I don't know why Angela's name slipped my name, my mind, but um, I'm really bad with names. Yeah, Angela, the assistant from Lobotomy Corp, is like the person you're assisting in this game. She's the purveyor of the library. All right, well, that went really well. It was a little grindy, but no, no, no major problems. We got some more headwear. It's stupid looking, but you know, we got it. Those puppets were conscious somehow, right? They appeared so. We could resolve books from them too. Although they didn't have control over their bodies, they still seemed to carry minds of their own. And they had to witness their own bodies being tugged along by strings while their senses and feelings were intact. Does that mean? Yes. The puppeteer is a distortion, and those puppets were its byproducts. I've seen several abnormalities that could create underlings for themselves, so I can understand this to be a similar case. Poor folks, working their asses off only to be treated like dolls. I could understand their feelings as well. Uh, after all, I used to be a puppet myself. Can those puppets be freed, though? Killing the puppeteer may free them from the attached strings, but they would be- they would remain ragged dolls. I must wonder if they'd still want to live in that form. Yeah, fair enough. Knew it would- knew it couldn't be that simple. Yo, power is back! Getting a lot of snow over there. So we have another, um, floor for Tifereth. Uh, is this something I want to do now? Before I throw their book- their- the- the- gun book back on team roland so we've got nix from hades what's her deal loyal protection cannot be targeted does not act give tears to a random sword every three scenes if the character is staggered activates the scene after uh when a sword with tears take lethal damage falls into despair next scene when the abnormality falls into despair all uh what uh, all what how do I? Uh, wow, this keeps going, huh? All swords fully recover HP and stagger resist and use special combat pages. Um, so I, I guess I have to focus one sword at a time is what I'm hearing here. If all swords impale the abnormality and despair state, become staggered and targetable next scene. If all swords impale... If all swords impale the abnormality and despair state... God, this game is so extra complicated <laughs> um okay faded faith this die deals damage equal to dice value times two per you know just stop it um tears gain a speed die use special pages and change resistances while under the effects of tears If this fails to deal any damage to its target while in despair state, the sword will impale the Knight of Despair, dealing damage to her. Okay. These enemies do look cool. Um, okay.
don't really know what I'm doing here. To be honest, having read everything, I don't really know what I'm doing here. But I'm gonna set up as I as I do usually clash. Maybe we can stagger. And now I can fully finally join the stream. Nice. Awesome. Okay, we almost took out a couple of the swords right there. The enemy who dealt the most damage to allies on the previous scene is marked as a villain. Deal plus three to five damage when attacking the villain. No one really did any damage. After winning a clash using an offensive die, a random ally recovers some health. Okay, that sounds good. So, I mean, it, it gen generally seems like a good idea to set up clashes rather than um, attacking one-sided. I mean, attacking one-sided is good, don't get me wrong, but um, it's better to, to set up kind of defensively. Oh, we actually took some damage. Okay, that's one sword semi dealt with. Okay, so it seems like I can't kill them. I have to, uh, yeah, they fully restored. Damn it. Okay, so what are they? Are they in despair now? Feeble, fragile. I have to figure out how to, when sword, a sword with tears takes lethal damage falls into despair next scene. When this abnormality falls into despair, all swords fully recover HP and stagger resist. All swords impale the abnormality and despair state become staggered. I... Uh... There's a way to... Okay, so now they're... I think they're all in despair. But I have to figure out what that means. Sword that pierces despair. If this fails to deal any damage to its target while in despair state, the sword will impale. Okay, so I have to make sure they can't do any damage to me this turn. I think. I'm pretty sure that's what is happening. Okay, that impaled her. This is good. Okay, th this one actually did damage, so it's... And that one did damage, so we're... We're not necessarily okay yet. The one that did the most damage to allies in the previous scene is marked as a villain. After losing three clashes in a single scene, reduce the cost of the most expensive page in hand by one. This seems good if we're gonna take a little bit of damage, but that's okay. So they're still in despair. They get to stay in despair, basically, it seems like forever. Um, we can easily divert this clash, and then we're gonna go ahead and divert this clash. Not super sure what I'm doing, but I think I think I'm I'm, I'm okay for now. We did we did get one impalement F off we just need to make sure that these swords don't do any damage and then they impale nice so that's the second sword taken care of and that's the third sword taken care of okay so she should be targetable now and, and in fact she's staggered i think everything's like broken right now She's not staggered. Well, I guess she was staggered. I don't know what the heck is going on, if I'm being honest. I've watched you play this game so often and still have no effing clue what's going on. Um, I can explain. Uh, I can explain if it's something that interests you. So, the fact that I did not kill her is actually really bad. Um, because I don't- I have a finite number of these cards, right? I'm gonna run out of cards. I, I don't think I have enough cards to deal with these swords again. Th 
bit bringing guns to a sword fight. Back in 2021, we had a huge power outage that lasted nearly an entire week due to ice. Wow. Oh, wow. You're in the cold and you had no power. Yeah, uh, no, no cards on that. So we lose. Uh, yeah, let's just return the title. Okay, so we can't use guns on that abnormality. Now that now that I know it's the same world as uh, Lobotomy Corp, at least the story makes a ton more sense. My brain is refusing to learn new mechanics for a game I probs won't play though. Okay, I mean that's that's no worries. Uh, I barely understand most of the mechanics in this game. Like either way, so um, so let's take the the key pages off. Um, forget how to do that. I it won't just tell me the page that they have. Do I have to go searching for it? What page does she have? I guess they have more bonuses that I could have applied, but um, you know, I haven't really done anything like with that. I just want to unequip her page and it's being a pain in the butt right now. I can't even find her. Okay, there's there's Tamaki's page. So we'll get rid of Tamaki's page. Uh, there's Steven's page. We'll get rid of that. So I just need to find the third gun. Oh, there's Tamaki. Okay, so they're unequipped. Tiff firing squad is probably the easiest way to beat it. Really? But it, I ran out of pages. All right. I mean, I'll, all right. I'll re-equip them. Is, uh, is Laiwei's page uh, ranged? I guess they are all in Tamaki's page. It looks like they are, yeah. Okay, so I'm just uh, equipping Tamaki's page. And then on this one, I am equipping Tamaki's page. And then on this one, I am equipping the other one. Oh, did I uh, did I equip the wrong one here? Probably did. Combat pages? Yeah, I did. Okay, so let's equip the right one. Okay. And then we want to go through each of them and make sure that they have some more passives because, oh, apparently they already have max passives. I guess, uh, I guess this was the, these are the only pages I touched after I was given the option of having more passive damage. Living off of snacks and food cooked off of gas tanks and small grills. By Saturday or Sunday, the snow had all melted and the power was on. Just add some going for a bullseye and I hate CQC and you'll be good. Okay. Am I taking off take the shot? Just uh, trying to figure out. Okay. Add I hate CQC. I'm going for a bullseye.
I'll do that to each of them. Oh, they, she already has I hate CQC. Okay, and then the last one. There we go. Okay, let's try it again. Not I hate CQC, sorry, I meant t uh, not another step. Okay. All right, is this more or less what we're trying to achieve here? What does this one do? Single use, inflicts feeble next scene. Um, I'll take off another take the shot and put on another, not another step. Not another step. So we have, um, not another step and we also have going for bullseye. We have, we already very used to living in the snow. We don't have power problems due to snow. Take, um, not another step. Indiscriminate shot for three. Die sword going for a bullseye one. All right. Indiscriminate shot is three. Uh, die sword. Where is that? three die sword going for a bullseye for one not another step two <laughs> a lot of die swords going on in there okay hold on <clears throat> so no c no cqc indiscriminate shot three going for bullseye for one uh not another step two so, but that doesn't fill it all up. So am I just like filling it up with take the shot and headshot maybe? Head to take the sh headshot doesn't do a lot. It's just a high roll. Just add some going for a bullseye and I hate you. No, that's not what I'm just telling which sword to target with that. Oh, I see. I gotcha. Indiscriminate shot for three. Die sword going for bullseye one. Die sword, not another step. Okay, I gotcha. Okay. Um. I think this is this is good, right? I'm gonna save this just for a um, just so I don't have to do it again. But sword shot, uh, and I'll I'll uh, I'll get rid of that one once I'm once I'm uh, done this abno. Okay. Have you unlocked any floors yet? No. Not really. Uh, let's... Okay, hold on. Let's do indiscriminate shot on that one and then we're i'm just like setting up clashes indiscriminate shot um indiscriminate sh oh i don't have enough i'll do take the shot just to set up a clash did you beat muppets they're uh, 
unholy good their combat cards and passives are one of the best and even used in the end game oh really yes i did beat puppets okay this is going well Uh, we'll do... Well, what does this one do? After losing a clash, take two to four stagger damage and gain one strength next scene. Yeah, that's not really going to be useful for me. Okay, so they're all in despair mode now. So the, the problem here is that it's kind of um, very luck-based. If this fails to deal any damage to his target, the sword will impale the Knight of Despair. It, it, it's it's a little bit luck based whether or not I um, succeed here or not. I just realized Muppets mean monster mu puppets. Is that what it means? You can potch hunt Elmo. <laughs> Yeah, see, like, they might just get lucky and uh, get a good good shot off. Damn it. Yeah, I almost got away with that. Reminds me of a moment when I realized that Alucard is just Dracula backwards. That Alucard. What an Alucard. Yo, he's done it. Okay, please do not... Hit me. There, there we go. Nope. I'm assuming I'm supposed to be hitting them with something very specific. Inflict feeble next scene. You're right. <laughs> Wait, you didn't know that Dracula was Alucard or Alucard was Dracula backwards? I'm not doing a very good job of um, not, not dying. Oh no, they're all back. I'm pretty sure I lose now. <sighs> okay. We'll, we'll try again. Uh. Lol. Add plus two power to the next die. We'll do indiscriminate shot. Indiscriminate shot. And uh, indiscriminate shot on that third one. Just gonna let them do some damage. Are there people that didn't know that Alucard was Dracula backwards? It's like one of the weirdest little, I don't know, tropes ever. This one's staggered. This isn't, they're, they're not in despair mode right now. Gain a speed die, use special combat pages, resistances change. They're not actually in, in uh, they're not in despair mode right now, are they? I don't think so. Are they? I don't believe that. I don't want to use too many cards. I want to use is is the least as many as possible. I'm going to name my kid Nate Natim Lay. Okay, um, I really don't know if I'm doing this right. I guess going for bullseye is well, I, like I want to keep that for when um, they're in despair mode. I'm, I'm assuming that's the idea.
Damn. I don't think I'm doing this right, if I'm being honest. I think I'm doing this very badly. Okay, so they're in despair mode now, finally. Um, so now I do going for bullseye. No, I can't do going for bullseye. So now I'm, I'm gonna run out of cards. I need to do going for bullseye so that they can't possibly get a shot in. Wow, I can't actually do anything here because this guy's got not, doesn't have enough light. Okay, all right, this is going awful. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing straight up <sighs> There's like uh, several layering competing mechanics that I don't understand and it's it's just like I, 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 I don't know what I'm supposed to do and then I run out of cards so Um, all right, we're gonna we're gonna just set up stuff and instead of playing conservatively this time I'm gonna play not conservatively because that didn't actually help me at all All right I love the Wild West dumpster fire Twitter is now. It's definitely an improvement IMO besides the whole worker fire main mistreatment ish. Guys, give me a second. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get some more coffee. Which is more iconic, Kenshi versus Caves of Cud? Yo, what about Kenshi versus Dwarf Fortress?
Coffee. Let me chew it for you. Target glowy sword. Despair mode. Heart tearing sword. Heart breaking sword versus not another step. Okay. Let me eat one second. I'm just cleaning my glasses. Okay, I play Kenshi by staying in a city long enough for the guards to spank a bunch of homeless thieves and then I just loot the corpses. Then beat the crap out of Crying Lady. I still play Tomb Raider. That's why I love Uncharted. <laughs> if a game with mostly cute chicks had ugly guys instead, would you still play it? Uh, I probably would be more likely to be honest. Um, only because like quotation marks, a game with cute chicks in it is, uh, they tend to walk a fine line of like, whether or not it's like, you know, what are you playing? What, what are we talking about here? You know, like. Ooh, I made a good coffee. If Skull Girls was Skull Guys, it would still be a fundamentally good game, is what I'm saying. I agree. Okay. Um, target Glowy Sword. Despair Mode. Okay. Wait. Um, the only... I'm going to pin your, your message here. Target glowy sword, despair mode, heart tearing sword or heart breaking sword versus not another step. How do I know they're doing heart faded fate? How do I know if they're doing heart tearing sword or heart breaking sword? Are you saying like when they're in despair mode use uh, not another step? Well, I only have not another step right now, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna roll with what I've got Any uh, name of the attack cards they are doing oh in despair mode, okay Okay, so I, I want to get them in despair mode first of all, okay, so that's one there done this one's going to take a little bit more time. This one is in despair mode. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so now, they're in despair mode. All of them are in despair mode. Do they all go in despair mode if I put one- if I kill one of them? When a sword with tears take lethal damage, fall into despair next scene. When the abnormality falls into despair, all swords... Oh, okay. I only need to focus one of them to put them all in despair. That might be key, key, the, the key right there. Okay, so heart-tearing sword or heart-breaking sword. This is when I do not another step. Right? Yes. So, not another step. Not another step. And not another step. Okay. So that's one done. That's that's two done. Okay, so I just need to take care of that third one and then we should be good. Alright, we'll we'll do this. It's fine. Okay, we still have another not another step. Let's just play it out. Please. 
Yes. Okay, now we absolutely stomp. Um, let's do... Going for Bullseye. Should be some good damage. We'll do Indiscriminate Shot. And Indiscriminate Shot. We're going to throw out all of our best stuff here. Indiscriminate Shot and Going for Bullseye. Casually ignoring my advice that he pinned. Target glowy sword. Well, the thing is I'm a 10. I'm not ignoring it. I'm very carefully reading it, but there's multiple ways to interpret interpret a statement, right? Target glowy sword does not mean focus a, tar a sword, right? And that's not you getting it wrong. That's not you saying it badly. That's me interpreting it incorrectly, right? There's a, there's a, there's a, you know, miscommunication and, and sometimes I'm going to have to read a thing a few times in order to get it right. And that's fine. But, um, you know, just bear in mind that Bimple, uh, gets it wrong. Okay. So I'm probably going to lose this one because I took too long to figure out what I was supposed to do. Um... So we'll we'll see what happens here, but probably um I'm donezo here. I'm gonna keep my not another steps. Bimple never gets it wrong, though. Bimple good. Ah, Bimple makes tons of mistakes every day. <laughs> it's just I'm talking about last part about targeting high attack. One single die with a not another step and not bullseye. Uh, oh, going for bullseye for high, uh, heart piercing sword. Okay. Yeah, you're right. I didn't read that part. Or I did read it and then I forgot because there's a lot of stuff going on here. Either way, we we uh, I, I'm probably gonna have to do this again because I'm running out of cards. Yeah, let's just uh, let's just try this again. Town of Salem on sale. Does anyone want Town of Salem? I might be I might throw some money down to to get some extra copies of Town of Salem. I do really like that game. It's actually a really decent game. So, I'm just like hitting hitting them. We are focusing exclusively on the glowy sword here. Oh, we're just we're we're gonna waste a ton of cards, right? Okay, you know what? Let's hold on. I'm gonna play a slightly bit, a slightly more conservatively than that, because I don't have infinity cards. I don't mind. I actually enjoyed that game a lot in the past. My whole wish list is on sale. Oh yeah, that's right. There's a, the Steam sale starts today. I forgot about that. There's a, the, today is the autumn sale. So if you're, uh, you know, if you're looking to pick up some more games, then uh, today is the day to do it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna do this, and that's it. Still haven't even finished No More Heroes 3 and I've been waiting to play that game for a decade. I have so many games on my list that I've been waiting to play. See, I already used too many cards. Okay, we're gonna take a bit of damage here, that's fine. My whole paycheck is already gone. I built a PC to play all games and I can't play, I can't buy any of them. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm going for Bullseye for Heart Piercing Sword. So heart piercing is here. 
so we need to go for bullseye oh no okay hold on maybe someone else can do it yeah someone else can do it that's fine um and then we're gonna do not another step oh my god can you please have some more light um okay that's fine we can't deal with this sword just yet that's that's fine we don't need to deal with all of them you know right away so we'll do not another step on i guess this isn't we'll we'll just we'll just do one sword this time there we go we're gonna take a little bit of damage here that's fine we don't have to worry too much about damage unless we get staggered that would be bad but um, we didn't get staggered, so we're okay. Okay, so now heartbreaking sword is not another step. So we're gonna do not another step. Heart tearing sword is not another step. So we should be good here. No! My God. So I, am I just like rolling really badly? My, my feeling is that I rolled really, really badly there. Heart tearing sword is supposed to be not another step. So let's do that. And then this is heart breaking sword. Not another step. I think I'm just rolling really badly right now. Okay, that's second one done. It's free and you're broke. Just get it, bro. Uh, Town of Salem isn't free anymore, unfortunately. Oh, really? Okay, well, that's that. I didn't realize I had, a, like, a finite number of turns to, to do it. <sighs> Yo, these Abno fights are starting to... Starting to wear me down a little bit. Wait, game... Wait. Why is the greatest B movie series in history funny? Game is basically Alan Wake multiplier. It's fire. Which game? The One Piece is real. Wait, I can do it better. The One Piece is real. Can't handle another Steam sale. Why is the greatest B movie? Uh, what game are we talking about here? Evil Dead. Good thing about this build is that your first turn is absurdly strong. Evil Dead is free on Epic. Oh. Took me a lot of searching through chat to get to that very not exciting statement. <laughs> I'm sorry, alright? I'm sorry. Uh... Yeah, my first turn is absurdly strong, but uh, it's it's also... You know what? What I'll do is I'll spread the load a little bit. Spread the load. Uh, I'll spread the load a little bit, and I'll have everyone attack this guy here, like, once. And that way I have a bit more in reserve for the next scene. Okay, just kill him. Yes. Perfect. That was it. I used most of my weakest cards on that. Evil Dead, the game is what I'm talking about. You can build another deck if you want. You just need high damage. One card, two card, three cards. That's about it. I, uh... I, I might do that because I'm, I'm having some really not good luck right now with this one. Okay, so going for Bullseye heart piercing sword this one is heart tearing sword we're gonna do not another step and then this one is gonna be heart breaking sword so let's do not another step so uh, if with any luck we should be good here nope nope okay we, we got lucky out of one out of three <laughs> Uh, is this one marked as a... Are any of them marked as a villain? Okay. Heartbreaking Sword is... 
not another step. I can't do that. Okay, we can do it here though. Not another step. And then this one is heart tearing sword will do not another step. There. Please. <laughs> Stop! Jesus Christ. Yeah, this isn't working, like, straight up. <laughs> Um, I mean, I have like, you know, not much options here, but to keep trying that's that didn't work. Oh, it, okay. Uh, it, it, let's start and try a different deck. This is like not working at all. It's, it's just straight up not working. I need, I need high dice cards. To ensure that they can't hit me. I feel like actually, okay, you know what we're gonna do? Um, rather than doing not another steps, um Is the reason we go uh is the heart piercing sword like only one attack? Is that why we use going for bullseye? Because I might just throw in more going for bullseyes. Because, uh, yeah. Things are, are, things are not going well right now. Oh, hold on. Let me, let me try. Okay, I'm not going to, this isn't, this isn't a legitimate try. You still have more passive space. You can get more advanced space. Uh, and builds from the story tier. If something doesn't work, you shouldn't bash your head against the wall. Okay, so I'm I'm the only, I'm not gonna. Tr this isn't a legitimate try. I just want to see what those other um, the despair cards look like. So I'm just gonna get put them in this in despair mode. If you can just ignore this mission and grind up for a tad. Yeah, I totally can. I figured this wasn't going to be that big of an ask. Um, hold on. Okay, so... Heartbreaking Sword is three attacks. Aha. Heart Piercing Sword is one attack. That's why you have me do going for Bullseye on that one. Okay. I'm going to look their cards on wiki. <sighs> the struggle is real. Um, I, I can also like straight up ignore this right now. I, I don't really need Tifereth right now. We can just do another story mission. Which I probably should do. I, there's plenty of story missions I can do without having to resort to this madness. You enjoyed today's show? Laugh to your heart's content at the end of a weary life and maybe you could have a good eternity sleep. You never know, regular viewers of ours might get the chance to come on a, our stage in person. It would be so delightful to join me on this stage, wouldn't it? We'll be back at the same time tomorrow to bring you even more laughter. Nail your heads, everyone. And have a bloomy, splody night. I hate that. Uh, still bothered by what your boss said? How could I not be? I'm sick of nitpicks like that already. Can't help it. We did make an error. Think about it, though. Of all the screens, it had to be the one in the farthest corner, and it happened in the darkest nook cranny at the edge. We can't possibly check them all with just a measly pair of eyes. And that's why you asked me to go for a walk all the way out here? Well, I needed to clear my thoughts, and you're the only other smoker in our department. And we're lost in the woods now. You didn't have to point that out. You can beat around the bush all you want, but you can't hide anything from a friend of five years, no? Let's peep at this in a positive light. We'll find a way if we keep walking. Besides, it's been a while since we were in a nice open area like this. Haunted show that abducts viewers? Yes. Yes. Like, so, okay, Faust, One Piece fan, uh... Are you caught up with the manga? Because um, some some fun stuff has been happening. And I, I'm not going to talk about it on stream because, you know, uh, the, the stream is an enemy to anime, unfortunately. Is playing an anime game, but, you know, 
Um, but uh, I, I am very excited about what's been going on in the manga. We're surrounded by trees, though. Now, remind me again what, whose fault is it that we got lost? Yeah, sorry. What the hell? I swear I was following the footpath, right? And I don't see anything like a trail anymore. It's nighttime. Maybe you got in the wrong direction because of the dark. Oh, whatever. Regular maintenance is ending in an hour. We're not going to be back in time at this rate. Yo, do you have enough pockets? I'm just wondering if you could use some more pockets. Like that one episode of American Dead Nighthawks. Heart piercing sword one. Heart tearing sword. Okay. These two dudes, two or dudes, don't be confused like me. Oh, I, I had that figured out. Just the anime at the moment. Def gonna catch up on the manga on my commutes now. I won't spoil anything, and uh, there's some good stuff is all I'm saying. I, uh, I don't know. I, I found Wano a little bit disappointing, if I'm being honest, but... I, I don't, I think you're, you're, if you're only anime, then, uh, you're, you're coming up to some of the big stuff, but. What's the worst that could happen? Getting fired. Don't say vicious stuff like that, even as a joke. You won't have to worry about money, even if you catch this, the pink slip. Emma, uh, but I'm not you. <laughs> Never enough pockets. Need all the pockets. I know, if you have enough pockets and you can, like, keep more cute and wholesome things on you like i bet this this lad here has like three frogs in in uh, most of his pockets he's got a little stuffed unicorn in this one and then like three frogs and then uh, a pack of cards what else oh he's got his tim horton's beverage in this one maybe you know what never mind you saw how furious the chief got yeah if they were that mad, then they might be preparing documents to fire me already. Or worse, my post could be long gone by the time I get back there. You can always ask me for help, remember? I told you I can help you reach your dreams. There are things you're much better at than staring at boring screens all day. Sometimes you have the talent for. Yeah, yeah, you're moving me to tears, buddy old pal of mine. But I'm not interested in being a doll for the rich to play with. He's carrying three Funko Pops and his whole Nintendo Switch library. <laughs> yeah, he's got one of those uh, three printed like Donkey Kong barrels that holds his entire library. He's only got Breath of the Wild and like, uh, you know, Mario Odyssey, but that's that's all you need, really. That's not true. Someone's going to get mad at me, like I'm saying that the Switch doesn't have a good library. No, that's all he cares about. That's what I'm saying. I scrapped my dreams ages. Hey, what, what's up? Stopping like a car before a deer. That's dangerous, man. Hey, Noah, doesn't that thing over there look like a tent? Not to mention... Harold? One of them named Emma. Later down the line, there will be a character called Nikolai, which is a Russian male name. Weird naming in the city. There might be someone living in here. Living in there, let's check it out. I'm nervous. You should. You sure you want to go in there? Who knows? They might be kind enough to let us uh, tell us a way out of here. Yo, this guy's a full two heads taller than this man. He is very tall, or maybe he is average size, and this person is very short. Whoa, this place is huge. It's a bit dilapidated, but it's much more fascinating close up. I think I saw something like this in a book. What did they call it? A circus. Just exactly what this uh, world needed was a dark circus. Could you be our new guest? The show just ended, though. Here, you want a funny voice for this for this lad? Hold on. Let me get let me get a voice set up. There we go. All right. Ah. Who the hell are you? Oh, are you the owner of this place? We apologize. We dropped by to see if there'd be someone here to give us directions. Oh, that sure sounds like a trouble trouble. <laughs> There's no need to be sorry, no. This is the 8 o'clock circus, giving smiles to the smelly city dwellers. 
Let's skip introductions. My name doesn't matter too much, does it? We're long past the archaic era of introducing each other with names and everything. It's Patton Oswald. <laughs> you need short people on your tactical squad to crawl in air vents. It's Danny DeVito. <laughs> Oswald looking at Emma. Can we get much higher? I can't do a Patton Oswald impression. Shall we sniff each other's wrists instead? What is that? Dude. No thanks. Emma, this place is weirding me out. Let's just skedaddle now. Oh dearie me, was I too scary for you? Hold your worries. I'm but a clown who wishes to rub lemons on everyone's tongue. And that one over there, he seems curious about us, circus. Wow, check this out, Noah. It's dark, but I see lots of neat things here. Giant balls. <laughs> different kinds of instruments there's a lion and an elephant too and also it's real i've never seen an actual circus before the, the book said circus is like this past in the history long ago care to learn more about us if you want i can give you a nice special one what what a once in a lifetime field trip i've been feeling so stale too hey he keeps talking nonsense no, it's too dark to find a path, so we might as well. Uh, whatever. I'm doomed to get fired anyway, so you take care of my future. Ah, you're such a joker. What a lovely friendship to behold. Come on in, then. And watch your feet now. Hungry flowers might bite you. Flowers can bite? This fella is Mr. Lion. He's the strongest pal here. He may seem cold and sharp, but on the inside, he's actually soft and warm like a fur coat. He's not a bad lion. People have left a good amount of five-star reviews about Mr. Lion's belly, you see. This lion's teeth are oddly round and blunt. What are you on about, Noah? They're so sharp, it could hurt you if you touched it. Are you too tired right now? Andrino. A lion and an elephant. Get PETA on the phone. They'll shut it down before the foundation. Uh, for some reason, his head cannon voice is Seth Rogen to me. Who? Oswald's? I have to unpin this mess. Actually, let me just make chat bigger. I don't know why I have it so small right now. Harold is a girl? What? No. called clown to clown communication there is no actual animals in there it's like calling PETA on <laughs> the local McDonald's I mean that would be valid would it not maybe I mistook them for something else in the dark I don't really want to get into its belly though and this is Mr. Elephant he makes the loudest noise in the circus for realsies he loves to sing so much all the time we had to give him a candy to keep him quiet. I don't want anyone reporting us for noise pollution. This is in the middle of nowhere. I don't think there's anyone who... Don't be silly, Moose. Mrs. Ant would be sad to hear that. We have a massive ant nest beneath us. We also have Mrs. Mermaid, Mrs. Hexagonal, Cone Hat, Mr. Knife, and many, many others. Uh, what was that meme going around? Mrs. checks her phone all the time. Mrs. doesn't wash her hands after using the washroom. <laughs> what? There's a there's a meme going around. It was like uh, those kids books. Mrs. Noodles. Mrs. Mrs. Noodle Arms. Mr. Uh, Smelly. Can't remember. You know, my GPU arrived in Brazil only after only. After only eight Chinese days. Is a Chinese day different from a Brazil day? Is Brazil like a very small planet uh, orbiting slightly farther away uh, than Earth? So uh, a Brazil day is like, you know, 1.5 days. My heart can't take Bimple ruining one of the best VA actors in this game. <laughs> Uh, 
Mrs. Mermaid joined us because she was so scared of the sea. She's very glad to be on land now. That's strange. I thought mermaids are usually supposed to live in the oceans or underwater. <sighs> this is why I don't deal with people who have cold rice for brains. We're talking about basic knowledge here. The uppity most very basics. Don't you know what living in the sea makes you fish food? I mean, mermaids are fish too. Bonkers. Fishy fish all the time. <sighs> Getting so worked up is out of character for me. Where was I? Wow, Mr. Lemon Clown. These are the coolest circus crew I've ever seen. They're special. I feel like something about them speaks to my heart. Don't tell me you actually like this screwy tent. I'm not taking that crap. Don't be so sour, Noah. It's such a wonderful place, can't you see? And they can make people smile through tough times like this. A circus. I want to see it, too. Forget it. This is just insane. You can stay here all you want. I'm leaving. But this is a rare chance. Ah, uh, you want to join us? Pardon? Uh, no, actually, I just wanted to watch your show. Ah, uh, that's a big shame. Everyone could uh, understand my words and actions and left me one by one. My secret pals were the only ones who stayed with me till the end. The mermaid who snacks on jelly beans inside seashells. The hamster who is so tall he can drink clouds off the sky. Oh, dear. My earnest efforts to bring merry smiles to the people who were adored by Miss Sun, who then whispered to me that she will make my wish come true. It was the outrageous head-blowing wish to frolic with my secret pals. So I'm now living the dream of my life, joyfully performing at the circus with my friends every night. Joy. Dreams. It's rather obvious that you'd be attracted to us. I do understand your feeling. Oh, I do. Can I really be happy if I joined your circus? You don't say. Every moment of your life will be filled to the brim with a thrilling taste of pepper. I'm going to be fired from J-Corp, for my mistake anyway. I don't want to go back to the back streets either. Even if I got to keep my job, I don't want to set foot in that living hell again. I just wanted to watch the world and the skies from a higher place. I know that my dream was an empty one. I knew there was no way I could achieve it as long as I was at the bottom. And when I finally scratched and clawed my way up, I just stare at boring screens until I get fired. Noah, if there's anything I can help you with... Ah? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. You're still making a mockery of me. It's always money, money, money. You say you can solve my problems with money. Do you think everything will work out by simply throwing money? Why did you even follow me into that shitty department in the first place? You could live fine without it. No, you know what? Just forget it all. Hey, the clown over there. I want to be part of your crew. Yo. Uh, pirate clowns? And this going full juggalo. Chinese days are filled with used CPU, GPUs and race fields. There's a saying in Russia, last Chinese warning, which means warning that can be usually ignored. <laughs> That's like, uh, first warning, your electricity bill wasn't paid, you're gonna get cut off. Canada days are filled with fish kissing and alarm testing. Yeah, I actually found the, the sound effect for that. Hold on a second. I can put it on something. Uh, bu 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 this one here. No, 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 no. Recorded. Is it this one? Give me a second. No, that's not it. Delete that. Is it? How do I get rid of it? It won't let me get rid of it. Oh, I see. Trash it. There we go. Trash that one. Uh, oh, here we go. Here we go. There you go. We got the alarm back. Combination of pages of this invite and puppet one of one on Yasad floor is an absurd powerful combo. This when he starts getting busted. This fight gives guns as well. Ooh, gun page is busted. Oh, nice. Oh, yikes and a half. The mood doesn't seem so bright here. 
You can't join us if you're hanging out with those meanie deers, you know? Uh, I'll help you say goodbye to those mean friends flowing down your cheek. We'll be friends with each other when you open your eyes. Now then, let's... You're so... You're finally awake. <laughs> finally awake, are you? Uh... You were asleep for so long, I was almost starting to worry if I'd have to place a well-cooked drumstick on your nose. The world's my eye... well... Uh, there's too many worlds. What the hell? It's making my head spin. No worries. You'll get used to it soon enough. A present for an observant and curious friend who wanted to witness the variety of the world from a higher place. I gave you eyes that can glance at everything, from ants on the floor to spiders on the ceiling. Consider this a welcoming gift from us. What does that even... What? Emma? Where's Emma? It's okay, Noah. Although I can't see where you are, I've been next to you the whole time. Okay. I could finally help you as who I am, not in the form of material wealth. You are right. I lived a sheltered life, so I don't know much. The scenery I saw would simply pass by. Is that the elephant? That does not look like an okay elephant. I'll lift you up. You'll be able to see more things from the new heights. I'm glad that you seem to like our gifts. Oh, I, I missed it. Oh, well. I have one favor to ask of you two, however. What's that? Actually, bad guys came into our circus tent some time ago and swallowed my friends whole. Poor Miss Hippo and Mr. Ball. I was so saddened that day. My frown was as long as three sausages. And my big and magnificent palace was ruined thanks to them. That's awful. Who were the culprits? It doesn't matter who they were. All I know is that they later went to a place called the library. Our splendid circus head never failed once, but for some reason we couldn't move their hearts. I want to know... Why? Oh, no, no, no. I'm wondering how they didn't pop their flowers despite my cute tricks and acts. If we can read their books, then I could hold a circus that's so entertaining. Even people like them will shake their salts, don't you think? It feels uncertain, but if the way that is written in their books will be able to hold an even grander circus, is it really okay to enter that place, though? Oh, how com- oh, wait. How compassionate of you. I knew I could count on you, too. <laughs> you managed to return. We should throw a party to celebrate it. We'll feast on otherworldly delicacies, like the sea cocktail garnished with a piece of a cloud and lion's mane chili fry. What the? Shut up. This is... <laughs> Sounds promising. What do you say, Emma? Shall we go? If that's what you want. Wait. John Bloodborne was fighting this before going into the library. Wasn't Oswald John Bloodborne? I was going to say Noah would look pretty in the dress and this proves it. How was the gauntlet of puppets anyway? Uh, it went all right. Umbrella, Ella, Ella, A, A. Phew. Now I have a lot to prepare. First off, for the duo, I should prepare a hefty feast that'll make their teeth groan. I need to recruit more members from my circus, practice with Mrs. Mermaid's scale mane, and then, uh... Oh my, who is this rude intruder? Oh god. This guy needs to go. Where am I? I was fighting inside the library. Uh -huh. Are you perhaps a new clown? Or are you simply here to watch our show? No, I, uh... It's good either way, holding a teensy little performance for our jesting visitor should be as easy as chewing cold pie-flavored gum. This... Shut up! What the hell are you talking about? Damn! This is the 8 o'clock circus. 
We bring the bestest of the smells to city people who have lost their flower stalks. What? The 8 o'clock circus? Uh, I was wondering where Philip got sent with Oscar's device, and he had to be dropped there of all places. I'm curious about what that nut job of a clown is up to next. The invitation cuts things off at odd timings. It could have shown us just a bit more. He's not today's guest, so it doesn't matter much, does it? And the invitation simply shows up what we need shows us what we need to see, so don't complain about it. Philip have no what 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 is happening in chat? Fair enough. Putting that aside, a tall guy and a guy with four eyes, literally, both look fancy, but neither seems normal. One who needs help from another person to stand high. I'm not sure I understand. Well, you don't have much choice unless you're born to a rich family, you know? Being a gifted child won't matter if you don't have the money to support that gift. Are you trying to say that hard work alone cannot earn recognition? That's usually the case for people who aren't blessed with pure fortune. If what you said is correct, having more money could lead to happiness, but the man we saw was angry about the idea rather than being happy. Was Why is that? It's different from person to person. Could it be his last bit of pride? Could be the fear of earning the reputation of a greedy man who only makes friends for their wealth. On top of that, it kind of hurts too. As delightful as it is to have someone who can gladly give you money to help, it can make you feel upset and slighted at the same time. Upset about what? About how you had to give up everything you dreamed for because you weren't wealthy enough and your friend is readily able to give away the money you needed like it's chump change to them. And you're basically dragging that rich friend into your messy life by getting financial help from them. Wouldn't that be morally distressing? Maybe the friend simply wanted to help but didn't know the best way to go about it. Whatever the case, it's about how the receiver takes it regardless of the intention. I see. Going back to our guests who willingly joined the freak show, I guess they... They were the, that desperate to achieve their dreams, huh? This world sure, surely is big enough to fit in all kinds of weird freaks. I can understand wanting to have a refuge from reality somewhat. <laughs> Roland doesn't have Uno on his Xbox. Everyone has Uno on their Xbox. It comes with Uno! Even then, thinking about what kind of hideous body might be hiding under the beautiful clothing, it's making me rich. Curb your unnecessary curiosity. You should focus on the reception for now. Am I on the right track? Are we still far from the library? No, it's right ahead of us. Take slow steps just in case. For a place that's supposedly full of monsters, it's actually rather quite quiet and clean. I think this place is big and fancy, though not as much as our circus. My head isn't bumping on any ceilings. Greetings, dear guests. I am Angela, the director and librarian of my role's namesake. Yo, they don't usually take this perspective when they do the, uh, the guests. Hello, can you hear my voice? Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. There's no need to shout at the top of your lungs. She's right below us, buddy old pal, and think of me who has to hear your voice up close. Ah, uh, sorry, I thought people down under wouldn't hear me well since I'm so tall. Angela, if we manage to get all the books we need, I'll invite you to our next performance. I'm sure those books contain the secret to making more people happy. With that, we'll be able to turn your cold stare into a hearty smile. We promise to bring you happiness, so please, look forward to it. Yes, I appreciate your sentiment. May you find your book in this place. What? <laughs> Andrino keeps getting shadow banned. Uh... Cat person, piss, 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 piss. Hey, cat person, maybe tall. Uh, okay, so it, I, since we're fighting Emma and Noah right now, I have to assume that we're not going to be. There is no like second phase to this. Yeah, there's only one act. Um, who could I roll with? Pretty sure did I don't have uh, is Yasad uh, up to date? I don't think they are. They don't. Yasad doesn't even have any passives. I think I uh, I think I got rid of them because I needed to install their cards as passives to someone else. So it's just right now it's just Netsec and um, what is this Hod? Just 
uh, Netsack and Hod right now. And uh, of course, Team Tifereth Shooting Gallery. So I'll start with Netsack. It's, I, you know, I'm, I'm not, a high, I'm not to galaxy braining this by any stretch. Yo, is that the, we have new music? Where is Neville? Yeah, where is Neville? You have puppet cards. They work well on y yes, Grug. I uh, didn't get a chance to put them on anyone though. Let's just try P brain. Boing. This is working well so far. After after this uh, mission, I'm gonna I'll, I'll do a little bit of um, rework on some of the current characters, and uh, and then we'll call it there. Is never grind online worth the buy? I don't know. It's really up to your taste. If you're looking for something, uh, you know, with a bit of uh, girth. I don't know. Like it, it is. A, it is exactly the kind of game that it advertises itself to be. Like it is a fun kind of like almost MMO like with a, a pretty robust community. But I don't know. Like I, I think that there's other games that you would probably get your money's worth from first. Wow, this that character got kind of messed up pretty badly. Okay, this character does not get staggered, huh? Wow. Okay, let me see what's up with that character. On a successful pierce attack, inflict one thrill. Okay. Uh, what? It looks like some of these, uh, they came back. I don't know what's going on. At the start of each scene, exhaust all pages in hand and... Okay, yeah, they get shimmering. When Emma and Noah are together, they cannot be staggered and gain an additional speed die. If their stagger resist falls to zero, Emma and Noah are separated at the end of the scene. Ah, that's what happened. They're separated right now. So, lonesome performance. When Noah is dead, all resistances change to fatal. So what's what's up with uh, Noah? At the end of the scene, reunite with Emma. Okay, so we need to kill Noah. Is that is that what I'm getting from this? Throw everything against Noah. Beat him up. Kill him. Staggered. Kill. This is this is quite the video game, I'll tell you what. Don't stagger. Kill him. Yet. Yeah. Oh wow. Come on. Yes, Noah is dead. <laughs> Beat the crap out of that blind child. What about tiny rogues? I never got to try tiny rogues. I might buy it myself. I, I am kind of like I've, I've talked about this, but I am kind of very tired like sick, sick and tired of um, vampire survivor likes um, I heard good things about tiny rogues. It doesn't really look like a, a, a survivor like if I'm being honest It looks like you know more of a game game more of a video like I, I know that's probably like rude in a way but like You know what? I mean uh, the Vampire Survivor Survivor likes are very kind of like casual, passive eye candy games. They're not really very gamey. Okay, that was some good damage. Yes. No. Are you waiting for low magic age 1.0? I am. I don't know if I'll do a series. I might do a one-off, like, let's try of it. 
I am I, I did really like that game. I really like low magic age Okay, I need to destroy this clown Dead That's it That's all I get No, it's so tiny and cute destroyed Okay, this is where I die Ouch. All right. Well, I was hoping to get one more attack off before death <laughs> The clown is really funny or sorry the the elephant is really funny to me Am I, how am I still alive actually? The, g the amount of games I really want 1.0 of is really infuriating. I can understand that. Uh, do I not to? Oh, oh, okay. So I don't get to use my other teams, huh? It's not clear to me when I get to use a second team. Sometimes I get to, and then I guess if it's a boss, then no. Um, so I might try firing squad Since it is a very focus fire kind of combat Let's just try it once it won't take long They really just came to get a book and the J squad is like murder time I wonder if I should try and uh, kill these other lads first It tells you Well, that's me getting it wrong again Amount of floors you have is literally stated at the start of the fight. Wow, elephant is OP. Going for bullseye. I I am I don't have very much to go with right now because I got staggered. Don't get staggered, please. All right, that's that's that. Increasingly getting the feeling we're not good guys in this game. Gamers don't look up. Mid right floors available is the amount of floors you can use. Oh, I see. I just want to look. I don't, I don't want to do this again. Floors available one. There it is. I guess I could try bleed. We'll try it. We'll try bleed. And if that doesn't work, I guess I, I need to put some more passives on this. So never mind. Um, let's can can we can we reorganize some of our. Uh, our teams next week and then I'll continue. I know I didn't accomplish much. I basically failed a lot Flavor of my soup is absurd still on top of my soup game Ugh. All right We're continuing um, spectral mall I'm getting like increasingly not good at <laughs> my brave ruin it 